Okay, we're left with our finished cartoon stylized image and now we can stop the recording. Uh, we'll just go here and click stop and now we've uh, stopped the recording and we have our action complete. You can see here I've got it in my action window. You can see here I've uh, got it set to cartoon 2, right? And now what we can do is we could actually run this action on any photo and it would uh, cartoon stylize any image. We can specify whether we want to, every dialog box that's open, whether we want to work with those dialogs and put in values before we continue or not. We can set the properties of this or not. And what I'm going to do right now is see if I can get this to work on another image um, just automatically or on the same image automatically. Let's see if we can do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to see to create an automated version of this action. I'll go to File, Automate, and you can see here, I don't know if you can see it as an off screen here, hold on. Let's see here, File, Automate, Create Droplet. And if I do that, it says, okay, we're going to call it Save Droplet in, I'm going to specify a name for it. I'll call this one Cartoon 2. This is my second attempt at this. All right. And then the action we want to run is Cartoon 2, so we're going to set this action. We can um, override or suppress certain things if we need to, but I think this will be OK. So we'll just click OK. All right, and we'll see if that works. Now, for the image that we just created, right, what I'll do is I'll save this as a JPEG. So File, Save for Web, and I'll say Save desktop, and we'll call this image finish, right? So I just saved that, and and then I'll say file, save as I'll save a Photoshop version of it as image 2psd and I'll save that on the desktop. So I've got that version and then I'll just close Photoshop. Okay. Okay, so I'll close Photoshop. So now, here's my first attempt. There's an image here. So here it is, cartoon2.exe, and there's my original image, right? So now I've got this droplet, so now all somebody would have to do is drag their JPEG photograph to the droplet and it should open up Photoshop and automate the whole process. Let's try it out. So I dragged it on there. Let's see, opens Photoshop. You can see that different things are happening. And it's going a little slow. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop it. Well, that's not so bad. All right, let's see if this keeps going. But it's automating the whole process step by step. Might There might be a, a way in which we could speed that up. All right, we're finished. But that process was a little slow. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say no to that. I'm going to open up my actions and I'm going to look at this cartoon action and then I'm going to go to this property window and I'm going to say okay let's see here playback options or action options let's see action options no that's not what I want uh, playback options and I had it set for pause for two seconds and that's why it, it took so long so we'll just click on accelerate it and give that a shot All right and we'll save this again. So it's accelerated. So now I'll move this over and create this one more time. File, Automate, Create Droplet. And I'll name this one Cartoon2.exe, but I'll say Cartoon2.-fast.exe. And I'll save that and click OK. 
All right, and let's see how that works. Close Photoshop. And there it is. There's the fast one right here. And I'll just take a photograph and drag it to that and see if that works also. You can see how much faster it is. And it did the whole process really quickly. All right. So that was pretty good. Also, what we can do is we can create a third version. So what I'll do is I'll close that and I'll show you the third version. The third version, what we could do is open up Actions and we could click on the Cartoon 2 here and open toggle these dialogues on. Okay, This will toggle the state of all dialogues in this action. It is not undoable. Um, cancel. How about I then duplicate it? Cartoon 2 copy and I'll click OK and so now this one is let's see let's see if it's on or off it looks like it's on now so cartoon 2 copy I will rename this cartoon 2 dialogue alright and what I'll do is say file automate create droplet and I will change this to dialogue and I'll save it with a new name I'll call this one dialogue and hit save and click OK and what that's gonna do is hopefully it'll open up dialogue windows which will allow me to choose some of the settings for the pop-ups when we when I first created the cartoon so let's see if that works and what we can do is we could take a different photo and try it out there now here it is cartoon 2 dialogue so we know that that slow one and the fast one worked fast one was better and now let's try this dialogue one so we'll open that up it's gonna open up a different photograph and instantly I'm presented with a dialogue where I can choose and maybe change the settings if I want right so I could change how much detail or whatever I want I'll click OK and then the next one I'm given a dialogue I can change it if I want let's see here I just change it heavily you can see here that this dialogue I can put in my own setting for it um, edge simplicity edge fidelity I can just this is cut out right click OK hue saturation I can up that I could change the hue if I wanted this time make it lighter click OK and with this color blend mode I just want to say OK and accept it and I can change the threshold levels I kinda wanna not see that so I can see my threshold levels you can see that this image is a lot darker so what I might want to do is is lighten it up quite a bit click OK right click OK and then with this one I'll just accept it click OK that one looks good click OK and click OK and you see this is nice because now I have the option of playing with the settings for a different photograph click OK and then this threshold once again you can see with a darker image the automation process was going to black it out but now I can just lighten that up quite a bit and click OK let's see if it gets rid of the black alright sprayed strokes click OK yeah. it yeah it looks like it did it it left the white click OK click OK click OK I have to click OK to all of these dialog boxes but it's kinda of fun alright and then once again darker image I need to take that threshold way down and click OK and I'm left with let's say the final copy but if I had just automated the process completely without the dialogues this would have come back too dark and it wouldn't have worked out 
Now that you're done, you just save your final image as a JPEG and you're good to go.